section in this session we will going to learn how we can create a horizontal slider by making use of UI scroll view and page controller we, and we can code this in Swift 3 and Swift 4 but uh, the Swift 3 is older version and we will going to make use of Swift 4 here and uh, on my screen you can see that uh, there is a simulator and in that simulator I have shown uh, one demo app which I created uh, and in this similar app we will going to create in this video and I slide to the right you can see the different smileys uh, and uh, a a as we slide the page controller all also get changes so so in the similar way we will going to create one app and uh, for that we need uh, one background image and uh, some smileys let's get started with the uh, demo app go to the xcode create one new project and select single view app here uh, right name for your project Hori horizontal slider demo <clears throat> now go to storyboard this is my interface builder now in last video of uh, scroll view, UI scroll view you may seen that how we created your UI, how we added UI scroll view to the storyboard in the similar way we'll going to add scroll view here now add constraints to the scroll view 0 0 0 so scroll view is added here and but uh, before scroll view what we'll do we will add one image view to the background so we can place it just below the scroll view here and uh, add constraints to this also 0 0 0 0 now add page controller page control but it should be yeah it should be it should not be in this scroll view okay please take care of that also add a uh, constraints to it so it should be uh, 50 from the below and uh, margin instead of margin you can add height and height and width uh, you uh, add width uh, around 50 here and now add the constraints you can see there are some issue with the constraints and let's see what the issue then issue with the X position it means there is an issue of an alignment here so go to that page control and add alignment here horizontal alignment so here it is after adding the horizontal alignment the constraint issue gone we will be making use of four smileys here so for that we need four pages here we will add we will add four pages now you can see that we have four pages in the page control now we are going to add one background image in the assets added ok background image is added now we are going to add icons I named it 0 1 2 3 so that we can easily use this image yeah tagged it now the images are ready for use now we're going to image view set background so we need to change its in a scale to fill now we need to change it to aspect fill 
okay so here we have four images and uh, and we need to show these four images on the four different pages and for that we need uh, UI image for view so we will be going to create this dynamically and we'll going to add on uh, add as a sub view on the scroll view so for that we'll uh, going to into code so before writing we need to connect or we need to create IB outlets for the page control and UI scroll view page scroll view scroll view now page control okay so IB outlet is ready to add view control here so we so here we will going to write code for creating uh, different UI images so we're going to make use of for loop here okay going to iterate from 0 to 3 now we need images for the UI image view so we're going to create UI image and here we will write the name of those images as you know that uh, we named it as 0 1 2 3 so it's easy for us we can directly write image dot PNG so uh, so here image it gives 0 1 2 and 3 index for that and now we will going to create image view here UI image view image to display here it is so we created four e four image and that four images are uh, assigned to the image view now the image view is ready with us and uh, now we need to add this image view image view to the scroll view so we will going to do that now scroll view did add sub view and then image view okay let's see the image is working okay image view is added as a sub view to the scroll view has no member okay then add sub view it is okay yeah it is hmm okay now now what we uh, we need we need to set a frame for the image view dot frame okay cg rat x free okay x y x y dot the mid x yes. 
height divided by 2 and then it should be 100 and height should be 100 okay now we will going to run and let's see that how our code is behaving here you can see that uh, the images are are visible on the screen but the slider is not working horizontally and for that we need to set content width or content size of a scroll view and in that content content size the width of content side should be the greater than the screen then only we will be able to scroll our scroll our view so for that we need to write a code for this and after the for loop after the for loop we will write code for this so content size equals to cg size <coughs> content width here and uh, the content width should be the greater one so for that so we need to count it here so keep it as a zero here and we will be writing the and the height will be the same as the view now we need to calculate the content size uh, of this scroll view and for that we need one variable here content width should be of c g float uh, float type and then here content width would be equals to the total number of pages into the width so we will be adding view frame width for the four times now the content width will be pasted here so now we got the content width size and now we also need the x coordinate for the image view which will be placed on every page in the middle of the every page so for that we will be creating x coordinate and u dot frame dot we will be using mid x value and view dot frame the cg float image okay and to change the page control because uh, as you know that the we, we will be sliding but on sliding the page control uh, is not a uh, changes so to do that we need to uh, we need to use its delegate scroll view delegate scroll view so we will be using it now we will be okay will be assigning as a delegate self function and we will be using this delegate dead scroll okay and here we will be getting the we will be setting the page control now we will be using current we will be setting the current page for the page control uh, we can get the count 
we can get the integer number of the content offset dot x divided by cg float and now we need to check the height of or sorry uh, we need to check the total width of page so we can check it from here it it's 375 so we will be using this value 375 okay Method does not override any method from its super class. So I think I calculated the x coordinate here, but we haven't, but we didn't use it yet. So we will copying this and we will going to paste it here. And now we will see. Now we will select the scroll view and now we will now we want uh, paging enabled so uh, we and the indicator uh, will should should be disabled here and we will be uh, enabling paging and so now we'll see the changes So here it is you can see that pagination is applied here and if you click here and slide then it is scrolling as per the pages. So thanks for watching this video.